Hi there, it's Sally from Rickety Snippets here, and today I have a box template to show you. Um, so we have all the components you need to make up a box, um, but it's blank so that you can print your own patterns or your own papers over the top. Um, so just to show you what they look like when they first print out, um, you need to print mostly one uh, copy of each paper, um, but in some cases you need to print two copies and there's a note alongside them so you know which ones to print. So I'm going to take these away and I'm going to print some papers over the top. Okay so I'm back, I've printed uh, all of the top pieces with one pattern and all of the bottom pieces with another. Um, so these were both taken from the shabby collage sheets in purples and blues. Um, I'll link to those below just in case you want to use the same patterns but you can obviously use any that you like. Um, just choose something that can that will look good in either aspect. So this will be a side of the box going that way, um, and these are the sides of the box going this way. Um, so you just want something that's not going to look very odd if you have them going in different directions. Okay. So next thing to do is to cut everything out, um, and then I'll be back again. Okay, so I've cut everything out, and what you should have is a piece of the bottom, two short sides, two long sides, and then the same for the top. So two long side pieces, two short side pieces, and the top image. Um, you can also print an additional piece uh, for the top and the bottom and um, that will go inside and um, I'll show you that in a bit and then you can decide whether that's something you want to do. Okay so the first thing we need to do is make some score lines um, so I'm going to grab my cutting mat and I need a ruler and something to score with and we're going to make score lines in all of the side pieces. So we want to score along the tabs and these inside lines as well. So line the ruler up. And then I'm going to fold or into all of those score lines. And then back the other way. Like that. So that's a short piece. The long piece we're just scoring along these two lines and then we'll fold them in the same way. Okay, so we need to do that for all of the other pieces for the top and the bottom of the box. Uh, so I'll do that in fast forward motion. <laughs> And I'm just going to finish up by giving everything a sweep over with the bone folder. So all of those fold lines. There we go. So now for the for the fun bit, putting the box together. So let's move all that out of the way. So now I need to find all our matching bits again. So just divide them into top and bottom. There we go. So I'm going to start by putting together the bottom. Um, so you need to get your image for the bottom and turn it over. And then I'm going to start with the short sides. So I'm just putting 
some glue on this tab. So you're putting the glue on the side that has the um, pattern on it. I've gone right up to the edge of that line there. And then I'm just going to take that and stick it onto this, to the bottom panel. And I want to line it up with the edge of that panel as best I can. Check it from the other side. Set that in place. And then I'm going to do the opposite side. Again, glue on the side with the pattern on it all over this tab right up to that line. And then the same with the long sides. Before you really flatten this one or uh, put it in place, just bring up the sides, the short edges, and just check that they're going to sit well with each other so you're not kind of you haven't gone ski with with this one let's find that down oh i've dipped that in something what that is um so I've got this one when you're putting your glue on just make sure you go right into these corners here as well so that'll give you a really good shape on your box Lined it up, bring these two up again. Yeah, that looks fine. There we go, so that's all in place. And then I'm going to put a bit of glue on this tab. Right up to the fold. And I'm going to bring the long edge up to meet that tab. Stick it on the glue, get a nice crisp corner there. Just hold that for a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. thing is just to make sure that those those edges are matching up really well so you've got a really good corner there and turn it around and I'm going to do the same with these these tabs when I'm doing the second one I always find it easy to put glue on both sides or on both tabs and then hold them both in place together. Bring that up. So the next thing to do is to put some glue on these flaps. So I'm putting glue all over that. And I also want to put a little bit of glue on the top of these, of, you can see those, the tabs that are inside, so the ones that we've just stuck down. I'm putting some extra glue on those. You can see that, so just along these ones. And then folding that in, and that will really help kind of sandwich those tabs in place. And tip it up, give it a good smooth inside. Okay, 
um, and then so I'm going to do the same on this side and then fold the um, small panels in, la in, fine, in last. And that's the bottom of the box. Um, so the option, that optional piece I talked about, you can just stick another piece inside like that if you want to line the full box, which is quite nice. Um, or you can leave it white or do whatever you like with it really. But I think I'm just gonna put that piece in. It covers up those uh, tabs. It's a really nice finish. I'm just going to lay that in there. You might find you want to trim that a little bit uh, smaller than the top one. Um, but that's fine. So there we are, bottom of our box, done. Um, it also makes it stronger to have another piece like that. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing then with the top of the box. That's it, so we have a top and a bottom, which should, should fit together nicely. It's the basic box, and then um, you can obviously add embellishments if you want to. Um, I had this door, which I thought might look quite nice on here as a pocket, so I might go ahead and stick that on. Uh, this is one of the Genie doors um, from the Genie collection. Uh, and I've reduced it, I think it's about 20 to 30 percent. My printer doesn't let me work in percentages, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure what percentage it was, but it was around 20 to 30 percent smaller than the, the original. And it could be a nice little pocket on the front. Or you could put something, put a pocket inside, that'd be quite fun to to find. So that's it. I hope you have fun with the template. Uh, I'd love to see the boxes that you make. So uh, tag me on um, Instagram or Facebook if you've got any pictures to share. I'd love to see them. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.